Welcome back to our channel. In today's lesson, we are going to learn how to self-edit a book in 12 simple steps. So get out your book and let's start editing. Let's start by explaining what self-editing is. Self-editing is the process in which an author reviews and revises their own written work to improve its overall quality and consistency. This involves scrutinizing the book for errors in grammar, punctuation, and spelling, as well as evaluating the structure, clarity, and consistency of the content. Self-editing also includes refining the writing style, ensuring coherence in plot development and character portrayal, and addressing any issues related to tone and theme. In general, self-editing starts with the big picture pass, also known as the structural edit, and then the author zooms in onto the finer details, which include a scene-by-scene -scene edit, line-by-line -line edit, and lastly the nitty-gritty stuff like spelling and grammar issues. This process allows the author to cover the entire scope of their book logically without missing any crucial checks and ensuring a high-quality book at the end. Most of the time, self-editing is a trial and error process where the author navigates through multiple revisions and iterations to refine their book. The trial and error nature of self-editing allows authors to experiment with various approaches, gaining a deeper understanding of their own writing style and the nuances of their story. In this video, we have broken the self-editing process down into distinct stages to provide a structured guide for writers undertaking the complex task of editing their books. Step 1. Take a break. Before diving into edits, give yourself some distance from your book. Let it rest for a few weeks or even months. This will allow you to come back with fresh eyes and a more objective perspective. Step 2. Read your story out loud. Reading your entire book aloud from start to finish is a great way to catch awkward phrasing, inconsistencies, and pacing issues. You'll also be able to hear if your dialogue sounds natural and if your descriptions are vivid. Depending on the length of your book, you may need to set aside a few hours a day to read through your book slowly. Take a look at this example. When reading this passage silently, it might seem atmospheric. However, when read aloud, you might notice a potential improvement. By reading aloud, you might realize that the revised version has a better flow. The choice of active verbs and refined phrasing contribute to a more immersive and vivid description. Step 3. Big Picture Pass Start with the big stuff, also known as a structural edit. Look at the overall structure of your book. Is the plot logical? Are the characters well developed? Does the ending feel satisfying? Make any major changes needed to ensure your story is strong. It's important to not get distracted by small errors like spelling mistakes at this stage, as the focus is on the big picture. For example, in the initial draft of our mystery novel, the story seems predictable, the suspect's obvious, and the resolution lacks tension and emotional impact. It feels like a paint-by-numbers whodunit. The revised scene introduces a more complex atmosphere, ambiguous suspects, and a personal connection for the detective. The mystery now feels layered and intriguing, promising a deeper dive into the characters and their motivations. Step 4. Character Check Zone in on your characters. Make sure your characters are consistent and believable. Do their actions and motivations make sense? Do they have unique voices and personalities? Revise your characters to ensure they're well-rounded and relatable. For example, in the initial draft of a science fiction novel, the protagonist, Dr. Allison Gray, is portrayed as a highly skilled scientist with little emotional depth. Her actions and decisions appear inconsistent, and her motivations for undertaking a dangerous experiment are unclear. During the character check, the author recognizes the need to make Dr. Allison Gray a more well-rounded and relatable character. The revised version reveals Allison's vulnerability and the deeply personal stakes she has in the experiment. The locket and the family history introduce emotional depth and a relatable motivation. Readers can now understand and empathize with Allison's decision, creating a more engaging narrative connection. Step 5. Dialogue. Review dialogue for authenticity and relevance. Ensure that each character's voice is distinct and eliminate unnecessary or repetitive conversations. For example, in an early draft of a contemporary romance novel, 
two characters, Sarah and James, engage in a lengthy conversation that feels overly formal and lacks emotional depth. The dialogue between them is repetitive, with both characters expressing the same sentiments multiple times. During the dialogue review, the author identifies the need to infuse authenticity and emotional resonance into Sarah and James's conversation. They revise the dialogue to reflect the characters' personalities and the scene's context. Sarah, a free-spirited artist, uses more casual and expressive language, while James, a reserved accountant, communicates with a measured tone. Additionally, the author eliminates unnecessary repetition by condensing the conversation, keeping only the most essential and impactful lines. Step 6. Scene-by-scene scene edit. Now zoom in and focus on individual scenes. Are they necessary? Do they move the story forward? Are they emotionally engaging? Rewrite or cut scenes that don't work. Take a look at this example. The original scene feels generic and disjointed. While it establishes Amelia's urgency and the setting, it lacks focus and doesn't reveal anything new about her mission or the significance of the scroll. It's more atmospheric than plot-driven and might not captivate readers. The revised version of the scene focuses on Amelia's emotional state and the unsettling nature of her quest. The alleyway setting creates a sense of tension and mystery. The chanting adds a new layer of danger, pushing the narrative forward and sparking the reader's curiosity about the alchemist and the scroll's secrets. Step 7. Line-by-line line edit. Polish your prose. This is the stage to check for grammatical errors, punctuation, and spelling mistakes. Look for typos, grammatical errors, and awkward phrasing. Check for overused words and cliches. Make sure your sentences are clear, concise, and engaging. Take a look at this example. The original text has a spelling mistake of shouldn't of, which should be shouldn't have. The word reddened is a bit redundant with tears already mentioned. And the phrase, what are we going to do, feels unspecific and repetitive of the situation's danger. In the revised version, we have corrected the contraction to shouldn't have, replaced reddened with the more evocative dust streak to show the journey and emotional distress, and rewrote the final question to convey urgent action and introduce a new narrative tension, the need for a plan. Step 8. Get Feedback. Once you're happy with your edits, share your book with beta readers or critique partners. Get feedback on your plot, characters, and writing style. Use this feedback to make further improvements. Here is an example of a sample questionnaire you might give to beta readers. Step 9. Proofread. The final step is to proofread your book meticulously. Look for any remaining typos, formatting errors, or inconsistencies. Consider reading the book aloud again to identify issues with flow and rhythm. Take a look at this example. In the original text, there were a couple of typos, such as Captain should be capitalized as part of a title, Shriek should be Shriek with an I, and the word Charted should be Chart. In the revised version, we have corrected the typos to create a higher quality version of the draft. Step 10. Formatting. Ensure your book follows the desired formatting guidelines set by the platform or publisher you hope to publish your book with. Check chapter headings, font consistency, and any other formatting elements. In this example, we can see a couple of formatting issues with the chapter heading and missing space between the chapter heading and the first paragraph. The revised version looks much better and easier to read. Step 11. Final review. Read through your book one more time to ensure everything is in order. Make a final check for any overlooked issues. Step 12. Celebrate. Once you've completed the editing process, take a moment to celebrate your accomplishment. Writing and editing a book is a significant achievement. Remember, the self-editing process may need to be repeated several times. It's also helpful to take breaks between editing rounds to maintain a fresh perspective. Don't rush the process and be patient with yourself as you refine your work. That's all from us today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more lessons and ideas. See you next time.